Hi, everybody. This is a very brief introduction to Bloomerang, a very high level, very high level overview. First, and if you see where my cursor is pointing, we enter the web address for the Bloomerang site. Uh, you can omit the login slash index part. Simply type in crmbloomerang.co. That'll take you to the login page. I've entered my username and my password. I log in, and it brings me to this home page. And if you look, look on the uh, left-hand uh, side of the screen at this set of icons, this uh, vertical arrangement of icons, you see that the active icon right now is the home icon, home page, the associated home icon. Uh, represented by this uh, symbol for a house. And that gives you a very high level uh, status view of things, donor retention, campaign progress, etc. Um, I will not go into detail on what all this page is all about. Uh, that can be, you can find that out by going to one of the tutorials. And if I just move my cursor over here to the question mark, and bring down the drop down menu I see that there are a number of uh, selections the first one is help and videos if I click on that and we wait okay and then we see there's a a page containing a whole host of uh, articles about the uh, functionality of Bloomerang how it works um, how to write letters, how to support campaigns, um, etc. and so forth. So that is where you find the tutorials, uh, detailed information on how to use Bloomerang. So let me go back. I'll close that screen out. Back to our main page. Now let's go to the next item in the uh, selection here of uh, functions or, or subpages. Here we have um, the second icon, constituents. We click on that, and that gives us the ability to search for a particular uh, person who's registered um, in this database. So I'm just going to type in Leary, and um, it gives me a number of selections. I'm not quite sure how this search function works. Uh, if I look down this list, I see a lot of, uh, all the names seem to have, uh, well, most of them have Y's in them, and uh, E's and A's, um, but I'm only interested in myself, and that's near the top. I guess I could have typed in Richard Leary, and that might have further uh, restricted or filtered out the selections, but I'll click on my name, and it brings up another list and there's my name at the top and I click on that and this gives me all the information that Bloomerang has on me. There's a summary uh, showing uh, my contributions over time, uh, recent timeline activity associated with me. Here's a profile, click on the profile tab, basic information, my address, email address, phone number, uh, timeline, uh, things that uh, activities um, associated with me on Bloomerang, uh, relationships, um, and just some basic information. Again, I won't go into detail on this. I will leave that um, for others to check out. The next item, reports. Uh, go to reports list. And these are the kinds of reports that are available to you when you log in to the site and access this reports um, uh, page or section. And if I click on all board members, for example, here I can apply a filter. I'm saying I want the board status of all people who are categorized as current board members. And I see below Sharon, Lorraine, uh, Sherry, she will be removed. Laura, etc., and so forth. And if I click on a particular individual like myself, 
I'll go to the same report that I just accessed previously. It's just another way to get to it. Okay. And there are a whole bunch of other reports that you can access. And you can, I'll let you examine this list at your leisure. The next item, letters. And I guess, that, oh, letter templates. So I think this uh, is a list of all of our letter templates. So if we wanted to use one of these, we would just go um, appeal letter to the board, I guess. Um, and that's the template for that, whatever it is. Um, the next item, emails. Um, categories, email templates, deliverability settings, manage email interests. So email templates, we see that there are a bunch of uh, uh, email templates for various uh, purposes. I hit the back, back button. Oops, I'm a bit confused here. Um, if I went to deliverability settings, um, I guess this is kind of like what's uh, how the how our outgoing email is customized with our organization name, our email address, a phone number, which uh, is mine, country, post office box, etc. That should be at the bottom of each email that is sent out via Bloomerang. Let's go to the next one. Social Listening Hub. This doesn't apply right now. We do have a Twitter, Twitter account. We never use it. We could, um, we could link this up to that. Maybe we will in the future. Imports. Um, this is where you would import in, for example, a list of um, uh, new members into the uh, database. Um, and I guess new members might be out, uh, added automatically if someone uses the website and uses the website to join in. Um, again, uh, I'll leave the details to later. This is just a high level view of. Uh, of uh, Bloomerang. This last one, settings, uh, and here you've got some common settings, some custom fields. If you click on view all settings, that kind of shows you everything. If I went into my organization, edit, um, here's information about the organization itself, our website, our Facebook page, our Twitter handle, um, these API keys, I won't explain that right now. Um, API means application programming interface below uh, preferences uh, database export uh, I just used that a little while ago to export the entire database in case for some reason Bloomerang was wiped out we would at least have this uh, backup of all the data uh, contained therein uh, and users uh, here are the people who are authorized to access Bloomerang right now from our organization. Laura, Robin, myself, Susan, Grace, Lydia. I will certainly add Frank. Um, I took um, uh, Ray off. I didn't think he wanted to be on anymore for if you used it, but I will certainly add Ray back on if he uh, wants to be added on. Okay, and there's a whole bunch more. So anyway, this is just a very high level kind of orientation to the entry screen and the uh, list of uh, subpages or subfunctions uh, under Bloomerang. Uh, and again, I refer you to up at the top, clicking on the question mark, help in videos. Uh, there's also uh, chat support and email support, but uh, I think probably the most commonly used thing are, will be the uh, knowledge base with all these different uh, articles and uh, and uh, tutorials. I think this is where the tutorials are. Um, if not, someone please respond to uh, my email announcing this little tutorial and, uh, and uh, tell us where to find those. And that is it for this little um, video. I hope it's of some use to someone.